Wednesday, September 11th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $24. One Bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friendsofweusecoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. Today is the 12th anniversary of 9-11, when almost 3,000 people died in terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in New York City. Since that day, Americans have been told by red and blue politicians alike that they must accept the loss of some liberties to gain security. Let's evaluate how that's going. In retaliation for the attacks, the U.S. invaded Iraq, a country which was later shown to have no connection to the attacks and one and a half million Iraqis died as a result. Proportionally adjusted for population, this would be the equivalent of 15 million dead Americans. Three million Iraqis have been displaced due to radiation poisoning from the Americans, and half of all newborn Iraqis are born with some sort of birth defect as a result of radiation. New wars were created in Afghanistan and Libya and Yemen, and now the American president is making the case to go to war with Syria. But that's all happening far away. What's happening at home? The city council in Concord, New Hampshire this week voted themselves a new Lenco Bearcat G3 tank. Despite hundreds of people coming to the city council meeting to oppose it, the vote passed 11 to 4. Over 1,500 people have signed a petition opposing the Bearcat. Public pressure caused the Concord police chief to back off his unfounded claim that he needed the tank to fend off a terrorism threat posed by the Free State Project in Occupy, New Hampshire. Two years ago, the city council in Keene, New Hampshire, also purchased a Bearcat for their police. Vocal critics include peace-loving hippies as well as Marines and veterans. They all assert that the behavior by government is militaristic, against the will of the people, and rings of turning local police into a domestic army. Some activists are running for city council to try and bring peace from the inside. Peace News Now will continue to bring you the latest on the militarization of local police. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet app at blockchain.info. A Texas family is standing up to law enforcer James Drummond, who beat up the entire family after pulling over their son for speeding. Among other abuses, the dash cam footage captured the cop repeatedly kicking the boy's father in the face. He's being charged with official oppression. This weekend in Arkansas, a 107-year-old man was surrounded and shot by SWAT. The man was holed up in his bedroom with a handgun and insisting that he wanted to be left alone. Although this is not a crime, an elderly roommate who recently begun living with the man called the police on him. When the police went to his bedroom door, he fired a warning shot, and none of them were hit. The SWAT team then threw gas canisters into his bedroom window in hopes to choke him out, but instead he fired more shots. They then raided his bedroom, and the entire team shot rounds into the man for what witnesses reported was about 20 to 30 seconds of straight gunfire. Neighbors are wondering if it had to come to this, and why the police used deadly force rather than wait until the man fell asleep. Speaking of overreactions, this week, 12-year-old Dejamon Baker was out shopping for clothes with her mother when police suddenly placed her mother in handcuffs. Confused and scared that her mother was being abducted, Dejamon attempted to intervene. That's when police shot the 12-year-old with their tasers. One of the prongs went into her stomach, the other one into her chest. They got stuck and had to be yanked out of her body while the little girl writhed in pain, shaking on the ground. The mother's crime? Unpaid parking tickets. St. Louis police say their actions were, quote, justified. Do you agree? Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. I want you to share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>